Here are the installation steps for mechanically fastening Sentinel PVC membranes to the field surface of a roof. First, be aware that mechanically fastened PVC membranes can be bare or fleece-backed. They are reinforced with an enhanced polyester reinforcement and are available in two thicknesses, 1.5 mm or 2 mm. Before starting work, make sure that the environmental conditions are acceptable. Make sure the substrate is dry, clean, and free of any debris, oil, grease, or dirt. It is important to know that PVC is incompatible with bitumen. Any contact between these two materials must therefore be avoided. Unroll the membrane in place on the substrate in order to dissipate the tensions accumulated during manufacturing and to facilitate its installation. Position plates according to CSA A123.21 wind uplift test reports or publications according to FM4470. Center the fastening plate along the line provided for this purpose. There are X's drawn every 150 millimeters along this line to facilitate the positioning of the plates. Then screw the plates to the structural deck. To check if the screw is properly tightened, tap the plate if you feel or see movement, it is not screwed in tight enough. Screw it in a little more until the plate no longer moves. However, be careful not to over-tighten it, as this could damage the membrane. When the side lap is completely fastened, position the next membrane so as to overlap the previous one by 150 millimeters. End laps must also have a minimum of 75 millimeters in addition, the corners of the end laps must be cut to limit over thicknesses. The membrane below the overlap should be cut at an angle, while the corner of the membrane above the lap should be slightly rounded. Continue by fixing the side lap of this membrane as well as the other field surface membranes of the roof. Fasteners must also be installed at the base of the parapets or upstands. Depending on job site conditions, fasteners can be installed horizontally on the field surface as shown in the video. They can also be installed vertically at the base of the parapet using a metal fastening bar as in this illustration. Now that your membranes are securely fastened in place, let's see how to treat membrane overlaps. The use of a welding cart and an electric hot air welder will be required. First of all, we recommend that you perform test welding each time your welding equipment is stopped and restarted, or when there is a change in climatic conditions. To do so, turn on your device and wait until it reaches the desired temperature. Use membrane scraps and weld them together. Once the sample has cooled, pull the two pieces of membranes apart. A satisfactory weld is produced when the PVC uniformly delaminates from the reinforcing fabric and has a minimum width of 38 millimeters. Before welding the joints, be sure to clean them thoroughly with a non-greasy cleaner. You can now weld all overlaps using an electric hot air welding cart. Use the hot air welder for tighter spots and details. Check the quality of your welds by sliding a probe along all joints. If the tool penetrates a joint, lift up that section and heat it again using an electric hot air welder. Use a membrane roller to adhere that section back in place. If you feel that the zone is still not well sealed, weld a piece of membrane to cover it. All you have to do now is weld Sentinel T-joint patches at all intersections of more than three layers of PVC membranes. Those are the installation steps for mechanically fastening Sentinel PVC membranes to the field surface of a roof.